Hi everyone, welcome to that short video on uh, how to use transform map. I had some troubles myself using it and thus I decided maybe it's just useful, not only for myself, but for other people, how um, to make changes to this wonderful project. Um, just a bit of context, what is transform map? Um, if you're into sustainability, this is definitely something you need to be aware of. Um, because basically what Transform Map tries to do is be the Google Maps for um, sustainability initiatives. So there's really a lot of projects and initiatives going on already out there in the world, but they are hardly visible um, because they're so small or because they just don't have the infrastructure and means to, to make themselves um, more public. And um, as a result, often these projects, they don't, cannot learn from each other or they cannot reinforce each other because they just don't know of their existence. And that's what kind of the Transform Map project tries to do is make them visible and allow for interactions between the projects and make them bigger and grow. Anyway, so that's it. Um, if you're interested, just immediately go to um, transformapp.co domain website where you find different maps to check out. Um, based on different themes. So just to give you an example, um, if, you, if, if, if you look at the regional map um, here we in Graz in Austria, you will find these circled points and they indicate initiatives that someone added to the map. You click on an icon and you're shown with the information, uh, with the information of that particular um, initiative. So that's a cafe, for example, called Le Schnurrbart and um, there's some information um, in form of variables um, that are based on the taxonomy that the community of Transformer is developing to um, as a way to host and structure to hold all the data that someone wants to add to an, initi to an initiative. Right, so let's say I want to add or at least make a change to a certain location that I found for myself. How to do that? Um, well, in the first video, I did a mistake, um, assuming that the first option, which is mentioned in the forum, is the preferred one, because it's also mentioned as the easiest one. But this is actually not the one that um, is recommended to be used. So forget about the online forum on the semantic wiki, but rather jump to the second option, the web editor, which is editor.transformapp.co. And once you open the editor, um, you present it basically with OpenStreetMap directly made ready for editing. So the point I want to add, or at least check if it exists, um, is, a, is a, a sort of gift box where people can put in stuff and take out stuff for free. And um, so I want to head on to the Delplatz in Karlsruhe, which is the place where um, this box exists. And um, so I, I did the search, and now indeed I see that someone added the gift box already. So there we go. This is the public bookcase. Yeah, this is the point. It says gave box. All right. Um, that's so I don't need to add the point because it already exists, but I can definitely make some improvements. Um, like in a wiki, I can just make changes and I can give it the right name, which is gift box. How should we do it? No, that's right, to get the gift box. Um, and let's see, it's it, it's definitely a point, yeah. It's, what what else can we add? Can we add contact data? No, it's, it's for free mode of interaction. Um, it's bartering, so you can put stuff in and um, take something out. And um, so, so basically, when you when you're adding a point or editing an existing point, you can just customize the fields as you need them. Um, just see, it's do I need something else? Is that important to met uh, to mention? No, probably not. It's it's a gift. Box. Let's see, maybe contact data, maybe some some self description, maybe something that explains the concept. Let me see. Topic of an organization. No. Um, it's gift box. It's interaction. It's bartering. How to tag. What is that? Fix me. I have no idea what that point is. 
Um, I will remove it. Um, so, so the name, the website, all right, that's good because it's actually mentioned on our wiki uh, of the city. So that's, um, that's good as a reference, um, right? Website um, interaction is bartering. Source, any description? No. Right, that, that's for now. I wouldn't add anything else. So I made some changes. And when I feel I'm done, I just head on to save. And I need an account. Um, so make sure you, you register yourself on uh, OpenStreetMap. And once you've done that, um, you log in, you allow access, and um, then you need to add a comment message. And I can say transform map um, updated gift box in Karlsruhe on transform map. So the commit message tells people what have you done to the map. Um, and then you click on save. You have updated your changes. Uh, you could view it directly on OpenStreetMap. You can share it. Let's say I want to share this on Twitter. Um, just because it's funny. And click on tweet. Bam. Right. Um, so that's it. We, we can have a look. Um, before we close here, we, we can have a look. Is it now updated? Um, that's the changes. Um, here, that's the comment messages. Up, the message updated gift box in Karlsruhe. And it should be somewhere here, right? Um, I don't see it on this map, actually. Hmm. I don't know why. Um, do I see it? Do I see it? Well, I can definitely, I definitely see the, the, the point here, but it's not nicely visually shown on the map. So if I would close that, I would have no idea that there's a point here. So apparently you can open things after you've committed your change on openstreetmap.org, <laughs> but it doesn't show you um, any marker. So I guess what you would have to do is to go back on transform map. So go back on transform map and then find your changes on one of these maps. Um, yeah, probably on the regional map in my case. Um, all right, as you can see, um, I, I still have some, some troubles understanding um, completely how transform map works and how it does its changes. Um, oh yeah, it, but sorry, um, apologies for, for this, what I said before, your changes should appear in the standard layer in a few minutes. So give it a bit of time and, and then maybe it, it shows up here. Um, so I hope that was useful to, to clarify some of the things for um, how to use transform app. And if you have any questions, just let me know and um, I might make another video, my third one on how to use transform app. Thank you guys.